Meet James, an ambitious periodontist and real achiever. As an independent sort of guy, he sometimes feels like an island. Yet he isn't without friends. Meet Alan, a GP in the office next door. Recently, Alan's been more confident, seriously fired up. Her practice is busier. James wonders what her secret is. One evening, James is late leaving the office. So is Ellen, but she's not alone. Aha! James led a study club once. Still, he can't help asking if it eats up a lot of her time. She says no,、nope. because Spears' turnkey design makes it easy to lead. But that isn't quite why Ellen loves it. Members meet eight times a year, use a microsite for tutorials and discussions, and take a two-day seminar with Frank Spear. They also have 24/7 access to dentistry's best minds and searchable, practical chairside advice about specific patient conditions. Now that is a very big deal. But the best part is still to come. Ellen's tuition is waived. Remember, James is smart. He sees the value of Spear. However, a club is just eight to twelve like-minded doctors. Alan asked two colleagues, and so did they. Now they all help each other improve in their practices, and they refer patients to each other. James thinks all dentists should have such a network. Alan has a question for James too. After a few months, James is feeling less like an island and more like Alan. He's learning to treat challenging new cases and getting more patients because Spear really is different, and it's making a real difference to his work.